Okay, folks, uh, just a little short video this week. We're going to have a couple of shorts this week uh, because we've got some f distractions in the week. And we're going to uh, bring you try and bring you a full length video end of the weekend or beginning of next week, all right? But um, these are a little bit of tasters for what we're going to be doing. You, what you see in front of you is a window, obviously. Um, and this is what I make. I've made this one. Uh, and these are the windows I'm going to be making for the whole of this house, okay? Uh, a couple of people have asked, you know, things like, will you be painting the glazing bars and on the windows they see where the shutters are, or will you be painting the frames this colour and that colour? Their windows are all are coming out. There's four of them in the house. There's about eight to ten windows in total in the house that are missing. Well, they're missing most of them, but the four that are here are coming out. Uh, they leak badly. They're terrible condition. Um, and they're, just, they're modern rubbish, really. They were put in about 12, 10, 12 years ago. But anyway, let's get onto this window. This is a box sash window slider, slides up and down. Just want to show you a few little features I do. Uh, on here, I put on acorn fasteners, so they screw up, they lift on a little spring, okay, and then that separates the sashes so they can move about, okay. So there are some brass pulls. Everything is solid brass I use, okay, quality stuff. As you notice there, there's a draft excluder. I designed these windows for when I was living in the UK to uh, be draft free, if you like. Um, so you have draft excluders here. This is called a parting bead, and this is called a staff bead. On the back of the staff bead, when I spin the wind around, you'll see there's a, a draft excluder on there as well, all the way around. So it pushes up against this sash, gets a nice smooth, you can hear it, very smooth. Inside here, down the back, there's draft excluders here and here as well, and same on the, on the top sash. Um, and they're all corded properly with weights in. Um, and these are the furniture, so these are the wheels I use, these brass wheels, solid brass wheels, brass pin and plates. Uh, just show you these as well. These here, so when the windows are shut for security and you've, you've pulled, the, when, you, when you close this acorn fastener and do it up, what it does, it grips these two mid rails together tight. And because they're rebated, and I'll show you that again, uh, there's a little rebate there, stepped, and they're on the angle. It creates a nice seal, stops the drafts coming in, right? And then here for security, these lovely screws go in here and here. I drill holes through, and I put the little plates on, chop the little plates in there, and then they sit inside there if you like. So you can screw them up, and then you've got security when you're away on, you know, your holidays or whatever, as well as the shutters as well. Um, and that's basically on them. So these 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 windows are like totally nearly draft proofed, completely anyway. But let me spin it round, and then this is the colour. That colour you see there is old cream, and then that's the anthracite again we've gone for. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna have the old you're gonna have the anthracite matching the shutters, and then the old cream on the uh, the sashes remember that's a box sash window um and they'll be a lot longer obviously that's only this is just a mock-up one small one i've made so we can get fresh you know some ideas of what it's going to be like um i used to make loads of these in the uk all different types bow fronted arch top ones uh, big shop front ones anyway so it's a bit of black there don't worry about that <laughs> uh, but anyway so they slide up and down nicely they can accommodate um, here. They can accommodate a 14 uh, millimeter double glaze panel, right? But I don't want double glazing these because double glazing, I don't think works. It's good for soundproofing, I suppose. But in these old houses, you want it to breathe. You just want it to be normal, right? It doesn't do effectively much um, for the cost of it all. Here, there's a nice step up on here so any wind rain driving in there it's going to hit there and come back and run down the slopey seal that's sloping as well here so that slopes away any capillary reaction water going up will come back down and drop and go away and there's a nice tight joint on there as well anyway so that's a little taste of things to come i'll be making these up for people to uh 
watch. I know that everyone doesn't like woodworking and I won't make the full videos on woodworking. I'll just break them up over three or four videos. Uh, but some of you do, I think, like the woodworking. So I'll try to sort of corporate me and trace a, good, a bit of our renovation, woodworking, all the things we're doing. Anyway, guys, hope you like that. Throw your questions at us. Throw your, your lovely comments. We love it. We just love your comments. And try and get your mates to join us and because we need as many people that can join us as possible. It would be fantastic. Anyway, bye-bye now.